We're falling out, we have reached disaster Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again is up everyone it's good to see every single one of you again yo finally i'm here <laughs> i come with some big news and finally i could tell you what i'm doing for a living what my new job is where i work what i do <laughs> pretty much now i'm gonna tell you in just a second but if you really want to know and you don't want to wait you can check out the timestamp in the comment section i'll leave it right there for all of you to look at but man everyone this journey has been insane my journey from literally five years ago from getting my first job as a junior developer with no experience barely knowing html css no knowledge of javascript from fighting all of the imposter syndrome i had to go through for the last five years i cannot believe in the position i'm in today and i say this all the time i make a video like this practically almost every single year and now <laughs> i'm making a new video of my new job and this is literally my dream job everyone this is the job that i didn't even know existed in the first place and i'm here now i think one of the craziest things about this new position i'm able to now fully support my mom and my stepdad who live in vegas right taking care of them whatever they need help with while at the same time i'm getting my very own place in the state far away from them the fact that i'm able to support them and not even just them, myself, my, my dogs, and even my brother lives with me now, and not have to worry at all makes a huge difference in my life. I mean, the fact that, honestly, to be honest and to be frank with you all, my one job when I was working as an entrepreneur, it didn't pay enough to live comfortably in California. At least be because well, they paid me well enough, but because I was in debt, it was hard to like keep up with all the bills. But now, what's even more insane is the fact that while paying for my parents' bills, while having my own place, my bills, I can still, and I will be able to pay off 100% of my debt, everything in six months while taking care of all of it. This is so huge because I personally feel like I was in this debt track forever. I always felt like for many years that I would never be able to get out of this. But because of the situation that came up, this opportunity that's come in my life, I'm able to do all of that. And the reason I'm sharing this is because I know there's so many people out there like me who are struggling with debt, who felt like it was so hard to keep up with it. Even if I was being paid well in California, it wasn't well enough to be able to pay off all my debt as fast as I wish I wanted to. If I never got laid off for my job, my mid-level position, I'll tell you this, I would not be where I am today. If they did not lay me off, I would not have challenged myself to build my own business. I would have not have challenged myself to get a good job out there. But just because I got laid off and just because I had the courage to quit, I'm in the position I'm in today. Why? Because I always chose happiness first, number one. Well, the number one reason I became a developer, I became a dev was because of health insurance. But aside from that, being able to take care of my health, which is number one, of course, happiness has to come first. And because I've always chased that, I feel like I'm in the position I'm in today. I didn't chase money. It's not about being as rich as you want to be, right? That will not make you more happy, I think, than a lot of people out there. Although it does help make life more convenient. Money doesn't make me happy, but taking care of my family, my family, my dogs, myself, knowing my future is literally taken care of is what makes me happy. And this all happened because I stopped being lazy and decided to reach for something that did not seem reachable. I tried to obtain something that did not seem obtainable. And I know people say, shoot for the stars and you hit a star. Well, I shot for the stars and I ended up hitting a really good star, if that makes sense. But that's because I stopped being lazy and I started believing in myself. And even though I doubted myself almost every step of the way, I kept going because I knew if I gave up, nothing would come out of it. But if I kept going, even if I may not end up reaching where I wanted to be, I'll be at somewhere place better than where I was five years ago. And I'll tell you this, I definitely am. <laughs> okay, so let's go straight into this right now, everyone. As a lot of people have asked me, I've got, I've honestly received hundreds of DMs, comments of where I might be working now. Uh, a lot of questions. Now, one thing I want to share and note is that if you follow me on Twitch, you would have known this two weeks ago. I announced on Twitch where I work, what I do for a living and everything on Twitch. And I announced this two years ago. So if you haven't yet, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'm gonna give you a second. Link in the description below, the very first link. Make sure you check it out, I'll give you a second. Why aren't you doing it? Can, please, can you? Okay, fine, you don't have to. 
You don't have to, it's cool. But I'd really appreciate it because I got big news, everyone. <laughs> okay, so the question then is, where do I work? As I mentioned before, I work for a company in Silicon Valley. It is a pretty big company. It may not be the largest company out there, but I'll tell you this, it is not part of the fan club, not at all whatsoever. I personally do not ever want to work for Amazon. I don't want to work for Facebook. I don't want to work for Netflix, right? It's none of those companies. The company that I work for is a software-based company in Silicon Valley. They also have offices in Oregon. They have offices everywhere. But fortunately, I'm a remote developer. And what's even better than that is that even though I live in a place where cost of living is like down here, technically Nashville is kind of pricey, but way cheaper than California in the first place. I get paid as if I live in Silicon Valley, <laughs> which is absolutely amazing. That's the number one. That's the dream job. I mean, that alone is insane. How many people are able to do that? Well, I guess a lot of people now because of, you know, what happened in the world in 2020. But aside from that, the company that I work for is New Relic. New Relic, honestly, is absolutely amazing. What happened was I pretty much tweeted on Twitter that I'm looking for a new job. I'm very fortunate that that tweet went viral and I mean viral like a lot of retweets, a lot of likes, a lot of comments, right? Of people trying to help me when I said that I left my last job and within just a week, I think, yeah, maybe like a week or maybe six days after I shared that tweet with the world, I got a message from the hiring manager telling me that, you know, I was brave. I, you, you know, I had courage to do what I do. Uh, he's impressed with that or something like that. I don't remember exactly what for word. And then he told me about this position and Honestly, I'll tell you this. I did not know if it was real. I did not know if this was legit, if this like was a real opportunity or someone was just trying to take my information and then take my money, which I didn't have much of. Because of my tweet, they went to my profile. They saw my content, my YouTube and everything. And that this person, what's really cool about this person, um, if you want to know, his name is Jonin. And what I love about this human being so much is the fact that our values literally align so much in regards to giving value to you all in regards to helping people realize that they can become developers. As you know, for the last couple of years, my goal, my job here on YouTube, not job, but this is what my passion has been, was to help people realize that they can become developers, whether you have a degree or not, whether if you think you're smart or not, anyone can learn code. Depends on how much you want it. And of course, if you love it, that's the number one reason, right? And what's cool is that the one line that he said to me that hit me so much, and this will stay with me honestly, probably until the day I die, is that he said, he wants the, the bag person, right, who bags your groceries at the grocery store to realize that they can become a developer. They may not realize it, but maybe they can become the next Bill Gates, but they just need someone to help them. And then he even mentioned how the other half of the world does not even have internet. Now imagine how many spying developers will be out in the world when the other half of the internet or the world, when the other half of the world finally has internet. And so those things really hit me even that much more realizing the impact that number one, this YouTube channel, my channel, my brand can have with literally millions of people around the world. But then what he told me is this, when I asked him, what is that you want me to do? But not even just him, even this higher executive in the company said, when I asked him, what do you want me to do? They said, Chris, we want you to keep doing what you're doing. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like that caught me off guard. Like, what do you mean? Keep doing what I'm doing, making YouTube videos. They're like, yeah, okay. Uh, and like, what else? And like, just keep doing tweet make instagram posts just be you like, what this is crazy hold on you sure this is not a sponsorship they're like no this is a job what <laughs> but one thing they wanted me to do another thing that i never tried to dive into was they said chris we want you to stream on twitch minimum two hours a day but little did i realized that i loved i ended up loving streaming so much that i don't stream just two hours a day i'll stream three hours a day and there are times where i'll even stream four to five hours a day and when i finally move out of virginia because i'm leaving in a couple of weeks i'm moving again i know okay please forgive me but when i move i'll probably end up streaming four to five hours a day because i enjoy it that much everyone my job is to create content that's it my job is to stream after seven o'clock monday to friday my job is to be on twitch at 7 p.m eastern time and talk to you all and build things that i want to build on stream and then guess what when i move to my new place i'm probably going to stream on the weekends too this is my job my full-time job I'm, I'm so thankful to be able to do this and so you're quite you're probably wondering then what is your job title content creator technically i think that's what it probably should be but no it's not that because that is what i'm doing but my job title is developer relations engineer i am joining the dev rel niche the dev rel community where our goal 
What I love what we're doing at this company is that our company, our job isn't to sell New Relic at all. I'm not going to say New Relic in every single YouTube video. I'm not going to say New Relic in every single stream. I'm not. I'll talk about New Relic on a New Relic Twitch channel if you want to check it out. Link in the description below. But everyone, my job is to do this. My job is to do what I've been doing, which is to build a community, to build a relationship with developers around the world. That's it, to do what I've been doing. That's it. I just do that after seven o'clock. I'll write a couple blogs a week. That's all. This is it. <laughs> like, this is crazy. My dream job, and I get to do this with you all live from the world. So now, if you want to see if I can code or not, go ahead, judge me. Check me out. I'll put my link in the description below on my Twitch channel, everyone. But aside from that, we got really amazing people on this team. And I'll tell you this, I feel like everyone on this team is smarter than me when it comes to code. I have so much to learn from everyone, and I can't wait to help in whatever way I can in this team. So if you want to check out who I work with, who my team is, what team am I part of, I'll put the link in the description below. Check it out. Anyway, this is the news I want to share with you all. Everyone, honestly, I have so much more time to create content now. A lot of content will be coming out way more than I used to because this is what I will be doing. Like, I can't wait. This is what this is. I get to do what I've been doing. I'm so thankful that I'm even able to share this amazing news with you all. Anyways, that's it. This is Chris Sean. This is the life of a developer relations engineer in our mouth. Peace. Boom. Done. Oh.